Hello out there to you. Let's do uh, a problem where we're trying to figure out what the deadweight loss is and the results of a price ceiling. So the term is binding if uh, or perhaps effective. So if a government wants to set an effective or binding price ceiling, it needs to be set below equilibrium. So in this this market here, equilibrium is $1.20. So that would be the free market uh, outcome would be 60,000 pounds, if you're reporting it that way. Uh, government comes along and sets a $1 price ceiling. Okay, so we're going to mark that. So what we want to do is we want to recognize that uh, now at $1, the sellers don't want to sell as many, so they only want to sell 50. And then the buyers want to buy more because now it's cheaper, so they want to sell or they want to purchase 70 units of, or 70,000 really, uh, units of this product. So uh, what we want to do is we want to figure out the deadweight loss. Um, before we do, I suppose the shortage here would be 20. That's the um, additional units that the consumers will want to buy relative to the number of units that the sellers want to sell. And then for the deadweight loss, we're going to only use this as the relevant quantity because the sellers are going to drive how many units there are for sale. We're going to follow that up to here because for 50,000 pounds of this product, the spot on the demand curve is 140. So that means that the deadweight loss or the loss in efficiency in this market is just the area of that triangle. Okay, so the formula here is one half base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. These are generally uh, linear numbers in a, in a lower level ec economics course. So this is, this is 10 and this is 40 cents. So it would just be, just put in a calculator, so 0.4 times 10 and then one half of that is 2. Okay, so one half of that is 2. So the, the dead weight loss, the area of this triangle is 2. And we measure that in dollars. That is the deadweight loss. Now, if the government lowered the price ceiling down further, we'd have a larger deadweight loss and a larger market shortage. Okay, if that question was asked uh, comparatively. Okay, so what what deadweight loss really is is the combined loss to consumer and producer surplus, and that's how to calculate it. Just draw a line. If you weren't given the price ceiling on the graph, if it said like sixty cents, just draw a line right over there, and then you could calculate it from there, okay?